Halo fans, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to unlock the Tenrai Samurai Helmet. Step 1, launch Halo Infinite. Step 2, realize you can't get it. It's not in the game. It's not even in the store. The Samurai Helmet doesn't exist. We, we're being taken on a ride and I, I want to get off. Frankly, I am not a guy to ever make negative videos in any regard. I don't want to stir the pot for any negativity in the Halo community. But it's got to the point now with this progression of microtransactions that Microsoft needs to hear from the Halo community as many people as possible. It's not right. It's not right. It's, it's downright unacceptable. <laughs> I'm smiling because like I don't want to make a negative video, okay? I was going to make a constructive criticism video when Halo Infinite first launched, but I decided to wait a little bit to see if the Tenrai event fix things. I think it made it a lot worse, okay? Like, it, it, it's it's way worse now. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. We're gonna just try and dig into how bad this is and really address not only the concerns that we have with 343, I think mainly Microsoft, but then also most people say, you know, this is just a beta, this is easy to get out of. No, I don't think it is. I think we're stuck like this for at least six months. It's time that we do stand up to Microsoft here. He, he says as sitting down. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm standing up to Microsoft. <laughs> okay, so luckily for me, a load of guys on Reddit have pointed out a lot of the concerns and put them into better words than I could find. So credit to a lot of Redditors that I'll be sharing on screen here. The whole community really, I originally came across this problem from Footed Ghost who shared this clip. I'll play this uninterrupted for a second so you can really just see how poorly this video has aged. The body of customization content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. We're gonna start with a data miner that looked into the 88 store bundles that are coming within the next six months, I assume. The total cost of those is a thousand US dollars. 1,035 US dollars for all the armor coatings, extra armors, I mean, these are plenty of armors that we've had accessible to us since Halo 3 even, and now they're being sold back to us in 4K HD quality. So it already hurts. Yeah. <clears throat> You heard my voice break that it already hurts. It already hurts that things like CQC armor are behind a paywall. And I'll share some screenshots here of different bots from Halo Infinite that have been in the game. They're sporting armor that I'm sure is to come soon. And pause on that last one. If I have to pay to be Master Chief in Halo Infinite's multiplayer, there is something fundamentally wrong there. Like if they charge me to be the Chief in multiplayer, it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be a bad Christmas, Jimmy. You're not gonna be able to play as Master Chief on Christmas Day, I promise you that. Really, the Tenrai event was only the beginning. There are different scheduled events coming in the future, and the Tenrai event, although it's 30 tiers long, you're only allowed to unlock seven tiers at a time. So every month you have to log back on and do seven more tiers. And I'll point out that the shoulders for the Tenrai Yoroi Armor Core, the Yoroi Armor Core, the two shoulders are two weeks apart. You have to log in two times over two weeks to get the Yoroi. And these are also unlockable by challenges, which are very confusing to begin with. I know people don't like the challenges. I don't mind the challenges. I am just like most people who want some basic XP progression per game. I want extra XP for winning the match, extra XP for getting the most kills, extra XP for playing the objectives. That's all I'm asking for. Kill an enemy Spartan with a Mangler. I haven't come across a Mangler in like three games. I have to get 10 melee attacks. Like, I don't really want to get 10 melee attacks, you know? Like, let me play the game how I want. That's a whole different thing, and I don't need to go into the challenges today that much, but you all understand that the challenges are how we progress slowly, and I don't even have any of the Tenrai challenges right now. If I swap one out, See, I didn't get another one. I, I still don't have a Tenrai challenge, so I can't progress my Tenrai, can't progress my Yoroi. <laughs> These are words I'm using. It's just so slow and confusing, and the roadmap is just painfully unclear at this point. I have no problem buying the occasional piece of armor. That's not an issue to me. What I don't like is how colors are being sold separately and are not compatible across all the armor cores. If you buy a blue color in the Mark V B, it's not gonna be available in your or you're gonna have to buy that again. That is 
terrible practice. That is preying on people's wallets. There's no other way to look at it. I've been a defender of Halo my entire life. I defended Halo 5 Guardians to its core, but this is way worse than Guardians. At least with the rec packs in Halo 5, you could progress, and the more games you played, the more you played the objective, the more kills you got, the faster you unlocked gold packs. Hell, you might open your first gold pack and get the most legendary mythic armor set. The fact that I've been playing for a week and I haven't unlocked, like, any helmets, is, is it's wild. It's really wild. Y'all remember in Halo 3 when the katana was earned by getting a thousand gamer score. Now, it's, you just gotta buy it in the store, boys. Step one for unlocking Halo 3 katana, grind that game. Step one for Halo Infinite, just ask your mom for 15 bucks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on the advertisement for the Yoroi event. You look at, right, it's it's on the advertisement for the game. And this is a free-to-play pass, and this is locked behind a paywall. And we haven't even talked about the main helmet, the one that was used for all the advertisements. It's in Jazzware. I'm sure Mega Constructs is making it as well. It's not even present in the store. Like, it's nowhere. It, it does bother me, and I don't know if I'm rambling at this point, but... I'm trying to get across the fact that even if you think that the roadmap out of this is okay, even if 343 does a big 180 and starts supporting a load of these features that we're asking for, they still knowingly put out the game like this. Thousands of gamers that picked up Halo, played the franchise for the first time with Halo Infinite, and then dropped it immediately. Like, we're losing members of a growing fan base every day. Like, I know this is all Microsoft's doing, it's not gonna be 343, and the people that made this game put insane years and years of love and dedication into this. They're seeing all of their work just locked behind paywalls and all this negative publicity from the public. Public publicity. That's good. If you ask me, folks, this just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I want to make it very, very clear from the beginning that Halo Infinite is the greatest multiplayer experience I've ever played. Like, this game is god-level tier of enjoyment. I've been squatted up every single night with the boys. It's just so wonderful to see. Like, Halo is back in so many ways, and 343 have delivered on an experience that could, th th there's no end to the possibilities. It just pains me to my core to see uh, people slating this game online for its greedy microtransactions. You may disagree with this. You may say, well, Halo Infinite is a free-to-play game. My answer is, no, it's not. You know, like, any Halo fan will still pay $60 for the campaign. So, you're only asking true Halo fans to pay more than your average gamer. And I know that sounds funny, but it, it's the reality. Every single Halo game I've always bought on day one and paid full price. I don't care about the battle pass. I don't care if I have to do a battle pass every three months. I'm very happy supporting the evolution of this game. I'm very happy buying the occasional armor coating or like weapon charm or emblem that I really like. I want to support 343 Industries, but the terribly slow progression in the base battle pass and then this Yoroi coming out with, look at this dude, this is a guardsman, he's cool. But he is not the character you advertised in the free game. And I know the one you advertised might come out in a couple of months time and I might look very outdated saying this. But the fact that there's no transparency right now and we don't know where that armor is and we don't know when it's coming, that's what bothers me. Because, you know, 343 could turn this around. They could say we've changed our minds and they could make us look bad for complaining at a beta. This is not really a beta. I don't know why it's called a beta. The multiplayer is there. I know there's going to be more game modes when it launches, but the battle pass is not going to change. And 343 had no intention on changing this battle pass until we complained. And that just makes me be like, how did you think this was gonna go down? Like, did you think people were gonna be happy with this? 343 for the past few years, they've just hammered home that microtransactions are gonna be so far distant from the Halo experience. Like Halo 5 Guardians was so insanely monetized and they were like, it's gonna be different this time. So that's my closing statement for today, fellas. So yes, you cannot unlock the Tenrai armor. I don't know where it is. I just wanna also show you this tweet from John Unicef. Yes, the Yoroi armor is completely free. Play in Halo Infinite season one events and it's yours. I want XP that is related to the game I just played and how well I performed. And I want 
uh, the occasional credits unlocked for good achievements in the game. When people say, well, these things are going to be fixed, it's going to be very difficult. Because once you open the store, then you're only negating the players who actually paid. I want to share one last post from Reddit, and big shout out to everyone on Reddit that has inspired this video. This guy played for 36 hours and finally got the gold visor. Until 343 backed out and said, don't worry, we're giving it to all players for free. So that guy played for 36 hours and unlocked something that was then negated. And that's what's going to happen if 343 turns this around, which is even more confusing at that point because they're going to lose investment from the people who are actually willing to spend money so it's a big mess I hope in a month's time this video aged terribly and I'm completely wrong but I don't think so so shout out to everybody on this community post that's provided their feedback I wanted to share these individually but I didn't want to ram home some of the points that have kind of been improved upon like XP progression so thanks for the support with that 343 Industries I love you I love a lot that you've done with the franchise it's a wonderful experience I'm having a blast but fix your damn progression system man because it is hot garbage the domain is signing off it's not over not yet not yet.